Good morning, LHS, and welcome to the science portion of the Ohio graduation test. And I'm here with Copper and Tellurium, the CUTE crew. No. no. I'm Emily. I'm Hannah. And we're here to give you tips on the science portion of your test. When people hear the word bananas, they think of potassium. Well, that potassium's already been reacted. It's the stable ion lost an electron. Here, my friend, is a true piece of pure potassium. Largest piece you'll probably ever see. Right now, if I cut this, you can see this lustrous sheen right here because that's the metal that we're seeing right here. Now, it wants to oxidize very quickly. So, to do that, what we're gonna do is add this to some water and watch the reaction. It's vigorous in reacting with water. Potassium ion. You see, one of the main tools in science is the periodic table. The main division in the periodic table is between the nonmetals and the metals. Wait, stop. I think I lost an electron. Are you sure? I'm positive. In the lab, we use all types of equipment. For example, Emily, do you know what an educated tube is? A graduated cylinder? Now let's discuss elements. Here is a fluorine atom. It has nine protons and nine electrons, but the second shell should have eight electrons. It wants to fill that shell, so to become a fluoride ion, it gains an electron, creating a negative overall charge. Here's a joke. You know, fluorine rides a bus up to Columbus, but it can't find a seat on the bus. So, it's fluoride because it has to sit on the floor. Here's some science vocabulary words. Yo, Albert Einstein, what's the difference between genotype and phenotype? Oh, that's an easy one. Let's see, genotype is what you inherit with your genes, you know, from mommy and daddy. Phenotype is a description of what you look like. Next. What's the difference between homozygous and heterozygous? Well, if you're a homozygous, homo means the same. So that means you might inherit two genes that would be exactly alike, like my, maybe you um, would have a blood type of AA. If you're heterozygous, hetero means different. So maybe you inherit a blood type of, let's say, mm, AB or AO or, oh, dare I say, BO. Oh. What's the difference between biotic and abiotic? Ah, oh, I'm glad you asked. Well, if you are biotic, that means that you were living or living at one time. If you are abiotic, that means non-living, like maybe a rock. You know all about rocks, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what is photosynthesis and cellular respiration? Ah, photosynthesis. This is accomplished by green plants in their chlorophyll. This is when they take in water and they take in carbon dioxide and they make sugars. Oh, sugars. Respiration is kind of like the opposite. We take that sugar and we break it down and we give off oxygen, uh, water vapor, and of course, our beloved ATP. You know what that means, don't you? Adenosine triphosphate. My gosh, man, you're good! Good morning, Lancaster High School. I'm Raindrop. And I'm Turtle Man. And we'll be going over some prefixes and suffixes to help you guys out on your science OGT. A or and means uh, without or not. Ad means to or towards. Anna means away. Cephal means head. Chlor is green, like chloroplast. And then peri is around. Photo is light. Phyto is plant. Poly is many. And meso is middle. Cyto is cell. Bi or di means two. Endo is inside. Ecto is outside. And exo is outer. Uh, morph is body. Multi is many. Myo means muscle. 
Malay means hammer, neuro is nerve, and omni is all. Gastro means stomach, uh, geo means earth, like geography. Haplo is single, like haploid. Hydro is water, inner is between, intra is inside, osteo is bone, path is disease, like pathogen, and hemo is blood. And then suero is false, necro is dead, sime is together, tele means distant, trans is across, trough is feed, uni is one, and zo is animal. And let's not forget some of the suffixes which go at the end of the words. Uh, ist is a person who deals with, eum is a part of the body, less is without, plasm is a basic substance like cytoplasm, and log is speech. Mare is part, sum is body, tropic is responding to, and then zoan is animal. I'm Raindrop. And I'm Turtle Man. And good luck on your OGT, sophomores. Go Gales. Here are some essay tips with a science OGT. Don't worry about grammatical errors. Highlight or underline the points that will help you answer the question. Convert words into pictures. Draw what you see. Answer free responses with key words. Estimate your answer before you begin. This is an experiment that we do to measure acceleration. When he releases the cart, the weight will pull it down because of gravity. All right, for this next part, we're gonna add a mass. Notice how much slower it goes. Now, kitties, don't forget Newton's second law. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. All right, so today we're gonna use these pulleys to lift up a massive cart. What are the pulleys for? It's a simple machine. It makes it easier to pull it up. And what's the formula? Force times distance equals work. What's the scale say? Scale says 3.9 newtons. <laughs> Remember, Go ahead. gravity equals 9.8 <laughs> meters per second squared, which equals a lot of kinetic energy when it falls. Hey guys, what you doing? You want one? <gasps> yeah. We're making s'mores. This is a chemical reaction called combustion. The sugar in the marshmallow is starting to water, vapor, and carbon, giving the marshmallow this black color. It's a conduction of heat. It's a one-way reaction. I want to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs>